You can download the arts in the video for free, link in the description. To look towards the direction that a controller joystick is moving towards, inside the node that you want to rotate, we will first define three variables. Dead zone is how much you need to move the joystick before we register the direction. Rotation speed is how fast we rotate towards the new direction. And target angle is the angle that we are trying to rotate towards. Inside the process function, we will first define a variable called input vector, which will equal a vector2 that stores what direction the joystick is moving towards. The zero is the device ID, and this will grab the controller. Joy axis left X and Y will grab the direction that the joystick is moving towards. If you want the right joystick, then replace this with joy axis is right x and y. Additionally, in the case you want to track keyboard input direction instead, we can use input.getAxis, with the first value being the negative and the second value being the positive of the respective direction. For the dead zone, we first check if the length of the input vector is more than or equal to the dead zone, meaning that we are moving the joystick further than the dead zone. Then we set the target angle to an angle conversion of input vector, which will return radians and not degrees. So to apply any offset to this target angle, you must convert the degrees of the offset to radians, which can be done using deg to rad. I apply an offset because my sprite looks upwards by default. So to make the look direction accurate, I must add 90 degrees. Finally, for the rotation of the sprite towards the target angle, we will first check if the rotation is not equal to the target angle. Again, keep in mind that we are using radians, so make sure you use rotation and not rotation degrees. Then we set rotation to a lerp angle, which a lerp angle moves the first value towards the second at a rate of the third, which is also known as the weight. We will define a custom variable for the weight to make the code cleaner and easy to read. For the rotation lerp weight, we will first make rotation speed negative, as we want to move towards the target angle and not away from it. Then we multiply this by delta to ensure that it's frame rate independent, as as delta represents the amount of real world time since the previous frame. EXP is an exponential function that returns the mathematical constant of E to the power of whatever is inside the brackets. This tells us the exact fraction that we should apply this frame to move towards the target angle. And finally, we do 1.0 minus the exponential function to turn what remains into what we actually apply this frame because we need the amount to apply, not the amount that remains. Alternatively, if you don't want to smoothly rotate, then you can simply set rotation to the target angle variable. Now you have a simple rotation system that rotates any node towards the direction that the joystick is moving. You can add to any of your Godot games. And don't forget, you can check out the project files in the description. Thank you.